Hello, hello, good evening, and welcome once again to the world of Elite Dangerous. Uh, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and instead of playing Robocop tonight, I'm going back into space. I'm playing some Elite, uh, so uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the change. I'll, I've been playing this game for a little while, and then I stopped, and then I've been playing it for a little while again now, and I'm really enjoying getting back into it. So I'd like to spend some more time playing it, so I can do that while I'm streaming to you. So uh, Shellard and Gemma are both in and watching. So hello and welcome to you two. Uh, if you're watching and not joining the chat, come along and join the chat because you know that's all fun. Uh, so this is the Odyssey expansion for Elite Dangerous. It basically gives you uh, what they call space legs. You can now walk around. You can't actually walk around on your ship, but you can walk around space stations and planets. Uh, I intend to do some walking around on planets today. Uh, I play in solo because I don't like strangers. Greetings, Commander. And I also have running the uh, HCS voice packs, which you can pick up your own using my uh, affiliate link in the description below. Uh, it gives you a lot more conversational options. Diagnostics done. Indeed, it talks to you a lot more, basically. Uh, and you can actually use voice control on this, although I am not using voice control, although it keeps turning it back on. Uh, I keep turning it back off again. Uh, so uh, she might say some strange things if the voice control is uh, getting a bit strange. Uh, so this is my new ship. It is a Crate Mark II. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite nice. I've only just got it. I haven't played around with it very much. But uh, this is what it is. Uh, this time, if you watched the previous uh, stream where I started, uh, I was playing in VR. This time, I'm not playing in VR. I'm playing on flat screen because it's easier for you lot to uh, to see and witness. But uh, I Frame shift drive charging. will play this uh, on, on and off through VR and flat screen. But, uh, my intention today... Um, is to make some money because this ship was quite expensive. So what I'm going to do is go to this planet here and find some things to scan. Uh, now, I haven't got this quite right. I don't quite understand the scanning bit. So I think I've launched probes at the planet and that's what the blue thing is showing me when there is stratum and bacterium they're glowing. So basically everywhere seems to have bacterium. Uh, stratum is most of the place so I need to land somewhere that's got basically lots of that blue stuff showing so if I leave it on that view and then head over to uh, where should we go we go to uh, this I say little island it's a huge island here big big mass of blue there so if I try and land in there uh, that's the dark side of the planet I don't want to land on the dark side of the planet because I won't be able to see anything. So I'm going to continue around the planet a little bit. Around this way. And uh, then we shall land and then we'll get out and have a wander around on the planet and see if we can't find ourselves something to scan and make lots and lots of money. Uh, the exobiology is what the scanning of things is all about. So uh, when my frame shift drive has cooled it down, bottom right hand corner it says down there it's flashing saying it's because I got too fast and too close to the planet it took burnt out. But that's now getting better. So when that gets better, I can re-engage my shift frame shift drive, drive which is sort of faster than light travel. Four, three, two, one, engage. That will let me get around the planet in next to no time. Uh, so while I'm doing that, I'll have a nose round at the planet and make sure I'm going to land somewhere that's got a big patch of the blue. Because I think that's where I'm likely to find stuff. So that would do us. Let's go down for that big patch there, I think. I can't miss that big bit, big bit down there, can I? So I'm going to not crash out and burn too, too much. I'm going to land around here somewhere but I'm not going to land quite yet I'm going to fly it very close to the surface of the planet and see if I can't find myself 
some uh, biologicals to land next to and scan rather than spending an all, li all my life walking across this planet because it is planet sized it's huge um, you can see obviously the horizon is becoming flatter and flatter as I get closer to it and details will become available the blue will disappear as I get closer I'll to the planet transfer power to shields and deploy landing gear and then we'll see what the planet actually looks like uh, as I approach, uh, where are we? Four and a half Standing kilometers. Up. There we go. So this is what the planet looks like. It's quite lumpy. I was hoping for a bit flatter. I'm going to aim for a flatter bit over there, I think. <coughs> so I'm still two kilometers up. Uh, just to the lower right of the screen, you can see the height 2.1, 2.0, and there it goes down and gives you a visual indication of your altitude as well. So, my intention is not to crash, although, you know, the intention and actual crashing could very easily happen. I'm going to... There you go. I've got to within 80 metres of the planet. I'm going to have a look around and see if I can't see something that looks like something I can scan. So what I'm going to do is just fly it along just above the ground. And the things I'm looking for, uh, the bacterium is like a, a patch on the ground. And the stratum, I like little rock sort of formation. That looks like stratum there actually. That, that looks like that might well be stratum. So what I'm going to do is land. I'm going to put my landing gear down find somewhere suitable to land that's uh, quite flat. What should do is this is flat enough. This isn't flat enough. Uh, that's a problem. I want to land next to the thing, but won't it let me. You can't just land anywhere. You have to find a suitable landing spot. flat there. Uh, this is a new ship to me. I've only flown it for a couple of hours. So I'm not 100% uh, not on its control. Well, the controls are all basically the same. But uh, oh, I don't want to land there yet. Ah, that, it went blue. That was a good landing spot. Few and far between. There we go. That's a good landing spot there. Let's go down there. Oh. Come on. There must be a good spot somewhere. Definitely one around here. Just got to find that sweet spot where it's big enough for me. There we go. Landed. Uh, so, I will then get out of my ship and have a little wander, and you can see my ship in all of its glory. If you watched my previous video in this series where I was flying the starting Sidewinder, you will see what it looked like when I got out. Uh, this is a larger ship. Um, as you can see, it, it's it's quite a lot larger actually. It's, it's huge and lovely. I do like it. So yeah, that is my new ship, and this is my scanning device. Uh, somewhere around here was my uh, stratum that I found. Remember where it was? If I scan for it, it will sharp green, but only in quite a small area. It's definitely around here somewhere, wasn't it? Was it up there? There. It is that it? That looks like it might be it. Yeah, there we go. Look, that's what I need. So if I scan that, uh, 
That will. A third fill. My little canister. Stratum. Your next sample should be taken from a colony of these from over 500 meters from here. Right. You need to scan three of these things. There's one there. That's it's not 500 meters away from the last one. Uh, there's some more on that route over there. They might be. Are they 500 meters away? It could be 500 meters away. I don't think it is. But I'll run over there and find out. But uh, yeah, so I need to scan three of these uh, collections of outcroppings. I reckon that could be 500 meters from the last lot. The last planet I was looking for stuff on was like an ice world, and it's really difficult to see white against white. So I basically didn't see him. So I left it with nothing. Let's see, what colour are these? These are blue, which means they're not far enough away. That's a pain in the backside. I went all the way over here. And they're not the right colour. If they went green, that would mean that they're far enough away for me to scan. But because they're not, I can't. So I need to go somewhere else. I should get in my ship and have a little fly off to the next port of call. So basically, I'm just going to fly around the planet a little bit further to find another one of these uh, outcroppings. I scan that and then do the same again for a third and final thing. But look at my ship, it's lovely. Um, last time I played this on PC, I did in fact have one of these ships. So I've got a custom paint job, some sort of Christmas paint job that I, I've got for it that I had last time. But uh, yeah, look, there we go. Right, go up into my ship. And then we can use that to go look for the next thing. Um, so I'm just going to head over this outcropping, I think. I'll keep the landing gear down because I'm going to be landing quite soon, I hope. Once I find another batch of these. Uh, now this ship doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that my Sidewinder did have. It hasn't got auto landing and things like that. But by the time you can afford a nice ship like this one costs several million galactic credits. Um, you shouldn't need auto landing. Although it was quite nice. I was getting quite used to it. But I am okay with uh, landing myself. Just uh, keep an eye out for those same things. If you do see any, let me know in chat. Although it's going to be much too late by the time you uh, let me know and by the time I see the chat and uh, find you. Um, gotta stay quite close to the ground to see them. But not so close that I crash. Crashing is not good. Not seen any over here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put my landing gear up. Go over this mountain here, because I don't think I'll find any at the top of the mountain. But hopefully, just on the other side, we'll find some. We'll find somewhere to land as well. Just a bit very further away. see anything it's quite rocky here I was going to use my uh, vehicle to get around as well but that is um, not going to be a lot of fun driving in this sort of place let's 
haven't seen any more. Don't tell me that's the one thing that I found on this planet. The worst case would be finding some bacteria there, son. I just, just saw it. So, let's put my landing gear down again. Landing gear deployed. Something on my scanner there, that's interesting. So, this time I am going to get my uh, little vehicle out. You can see what that looks like as well. That lets me get around a bit faster than just on foot. Mm. I can land here. Up there. There's a bigger open area up here. That would do better, I think. Yeah, there we go. It was blue. I'll back up a bit. That would do us. Came in for a landing. Nice landing there. Permission to deploy the buggy. Nice. Yes, I can use the buggy today. I shall use that. Nice scarab. I shall deploy that. And that comes out the back of the, no response. Back of the ship. Shall I prepare the ship for jump? There we go. So, uh, around here somewhere was that stratum. It's down here and over there a bit on that. Standing by. Now this vehicle very much reminds me of the Mars Rover that I just built. Can't find it again. It's around here somewhere. This is a nice big open area. Why couldn't I have landed here? Them. Let's, let's get out and have a quick check. Drive assist off. It's not, that's just a rock, I think. He's not glowing. Let's have a nose around. There's some, that'll do. So there we go, let's scan this second one, because it was green. The little bars on my thing go up. Stratum. Low-lying photosynthetic organisms that bond tightly to the surface of rocks. The body of the organism may be embedded in the rock subsurface to provide protection from the elements, leaving the tough photosynthetic proto-leaves exposed. Their simple proto-evolutionary nature means that they are a common sight on rocky worlds. Coloration is driven by a mixture of the mineral content of the attached rock and the absorption spectral of the nearby stellar body. Yeah, so here we have my scarab, the lovely little um, driving around tool. Uh, so I can just drive around a bit with this, actually. Instead of uh, flying off and looking for some more, I should drive off and look for some more. Well, I've got a big open area here that let me drive around. Hopefully I can find... Oh, not, not, uh, not driving too far off the edge of the cliff, though. Because it's quite a low-gravity world, so... Uh, Going too fast and hitting bumps will launch you possibly into orbit. So uh, it's always worth driving carefully. But if I find myself one more stratum and scan that, when I take that back to uh, a civilization place. then it will be worth money to me. Uh, I can sell that data. This, this is more, isn't it? It looks like more. Sometimes difficult to tell if it's just a rock. Let's get out and have a look. 
Uh, I think it's just a rock. I think it is just a rock. Damn. Uh, so let's get back in and have a little drive around again. Um, yeah, uh, I believe that a, a three-pack scan of this is worth something in the region of 19 million credits. Which is quite a lot anyway, but for fairly early game stuff, it's a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, that isn't one either, no. That's just a rock. As is that and that. Uh, as are they. Yeah. Uh, now, I can find my ship on the scanner there. But... Uh, just a rock as well, I think. Um, if I do go too far away from my ship, the computer will, in fact, launch it for me and fly it into orbit. But I can recall it at any time. It's just a rock. Why do the rocks look the same as the thing that I've got to scan? That's the annoying thing. Um, yeah, my ship is actually on my scanner here. You can see the blue dot at the bottom of the scanner up behind me. But at some point, that will disappear from my scanner, and that will mean it's basically you know, going to orbit. I want to find one more. I might have to call my ship back and fly off the further run. I hoped it was going to be quite close, but... It might be quite close, it might just be that I'm missing it. It's harder to see from the ground. As I say, especially when all the rocks look the same. It would be nice if the uh, scanner in the SRB was a little bit more uh, useful. Sort of points you towards deposits, but not the same, not the right deposits. going to uh, dismiss my ship, ship and then bring it back in a moment and then go back and do a little bit more flying to look for my next objective unless I find it just over the next hill. That's not it is it? No, that's, I've been around this way a bit before. Gonna dump it, nip out. Drivers Have a quick look. Just to see what I can see. I mean, it doesn't really scan far enough to be sure of anything. What's that over there? That might be some up there. Green! Good stuff, so there we go. That will do me. So that, yep, fills up the canister. Investigating now. Stratum Tectonicus, 
a stratum species with a thick rock-like outer shell, covered with an irregular lattice of brighter cells that absorb sunlight for photosynthesis. So, I've now done that, so I can sell that back at certain places and get myself lots of lovely money. Uh, it's obviously showing blue now, saying that I've already scanned it. Is that up there? Is that still... Is that something different, or is that just out of the scanning range? That was just out of scanning range, okay. Uh, so, I now make my way back to my SRV, which is over this way. There it is, on top of that. Uh, so there are still things to find on this planet. There's still the bacterium, but that's a little bit harder to find. So uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with that on this one. What I will do is uh, recall my ship. Hopefully it will land on this patch here. So there's plenty of room for it, I think. I shall watch for it coming. There it is in the distance on the scanner. Coming around just uh, 11 o'clock. can hear it. There it is, it's coming over there. So I'll have a little drive over there. Get back in the ship. And then I can go off. It's a big ship. It's not the biggest ship. This is a medium sized ship. Elite Dangerous. Uh, there are ships quite a lot bigger than this. Uh, basically, the bigger the ship, the more expensive it is. Uh, not always, but often. Uh, board. There we go. Get back in the ship and take off again. Uh, so this is one... The, the, the quickest way of making money quite quickly in this game now. Shall I get us out of here? Landing gear retracted. So there we go. Let's, uh, so I could look for the uh, biologicals. No response. But to find three of those might be a pain. I, as soon as I haven't found any while I've been looking around, and I can't scan the, uh, the stratum again, because I've already done that. So I won't get the money for scanning that again, basically. So, uh, yeah, let's not bother with that. What I will do, it's, it's, it's got massive sunroofy type windscreen. The, the visu visibility in it is really amazing. Um, it's even got four panels so you can see around. Uh, so Prince let me go into Super Cruise. Uh, then we'll have a look at the uh, galaxy map. Let's see. I'd um, recommend transferring power to shields for the landing sequence. Yeah, these, I don't know what all the things are. I can't remember what all of the icons represent. The yellow one over Standing there by. is my other ship. I've got a ship stored there. Uh, I have also got a ship stored up there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do is head over to a different planet. Let's go over there which is several jumps from where I am. Uh, actually, I don't want to go down. I want to head more, make my way up through the galactic plane. Because uh, upwards is where things... I, I, sh I shall show you the galaxy. 
Let me zoom out. I don't hang about. Let me uh, angle things better. So yes, this is the Milky Way. Uh, it's quite nicely modelled. Um, if I zoom out, and zoom out, and zoom out, it gives you an idea just how fairly large this game is. Um, yeah, you can go anywhere around here, pretty much anywhere. There are a couple of areas that are locked by a regional, uh, you need permits to enter them. But yeah, this is where I started in the little bit down there. That's not even there yet. If I zoom in more, that's yeah. Uh, each of these little dots is a star. If I get the right you know, angle and plane, then you can see what's what. Uh, if you get closer to the galactic center, there are more stars. Uh, yeah, each of these is a planet, a star that you can go to and visit. Um, it's it's immense. It really is absolutely huge. Look at And the vast majority of these nobody has ever been to throughout the entire game. Uh, they're forecasting frost. The weather is going crazy, says Shillard. I thought it was going to be 20 degrees and hot and sunny. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's just that. If I change the angle that I'm viewing at, hang about it. There we go, let's look at the galaxy edge on. Then, yeah, you can see a quite frankly scary amount of stars. Something like 400 billion stars in the galaxy modelled here. Uh, and last I saw, Elite Dangerous players had visited uh, 0 0.07 percent of them so yeah um, up on the galactic plane uh, off of the galactic plane there are far fewer stars but still quite a few um, so let me get my angles back zoom back out again so I can see where I am I'd, I'd been moving around a bit there we go so yeah, this is basically the starting system and where I have been, where I am. Uh, let's get back to more manageable scale. Uh, no, I'm still a long, long way away from there. In theory, you can plot a route anywhere you like, but in practice, it doesn't actually work that way because some of it's far too far away. And my ship can only manage a certain number of uh, light years between each jump. So if I try and calculate a route to there, for instance, it will say failed because my ship at the moment basically can't handle a number of, uh, it can't calculate a route there. I want to find somewhere that I can go to. Over there. No route unavailable. Um, Hang about, let's make sure I'm above where I want to be. That's quite a long way away from where I thought I was. So, there we go, let's try there. Nope, still unavailable because that's probably still quite a long way above where I was. Let's go further down. Yeah, there's quite a lot of gaps between the stars. Obviously, the higher you get, the more gaps there are. Which, if I had a better ship or a bigger ship, then I could have a bigger jump drive and be more likely to be able to make it. There we go. I can make it to that one. 
Um, still a silly number of jumps, but that, that's all the ones I've got fuel for. The rest of them I would have to get fuel from uh, fuel scooping stars, which I do anyway. It's 35 jumps to get there. Uh, so I shall make a few jumps and uh, start my way going there. Uh, I'll do five or six jumps and then I shall have a look at some uh, out of game software which will enable me to find another planet that's got some biological things on it. Interstellar travel mode engaged. Because I do need to make some more money. You can make money just by scanning areas, uh, scanning planets, and... Key systems are at optimum levels. Ready. Um, yeah, just by scanning a system that you arrive in, Field like scanning. that. That gives me some information that I can sell when I get to a, a station. But that's not worth, you know, millions. After doing a dozen jumps, you might make eight million, depending on how much data you've gathered. But other than that, that's what it's all about. Leading system. Two, one, and jump. So, how are you? Well, I say all. How are you both? You're the uh, only two watching at the moment. I, I assume my audio and video is working as it should Key be. Key systems are at optimum levels, ready for exit. Are you uh, enjoying things? Fuel scooping. Um, Elite is, I won't say my favorite game, but it's certainly a game that I have put more time into than any other, I should think, over the course of the 40 years this year that Elite has been a game. Uh, it came out originally on the BBC B, which I had as a child. Uh, wireframe graphics and quite astonishingly huge for the time, considering the uh, the size of the computer and the size of the memory that the computer had. It didn't have a real representation, but it did have, um, I think, seven or seven Exit galaxies that you could hyperspace jump between four, eventually, three, but you could just do little one. trading runs and combat runs. And, um, Elite has enough Fuel content skipping. to keep you busy for several lifetimes Fuel if you just talk about complete. going to planets. Although many of the planets do look much the same as each other, especially when you're just going through the system like this. But um, you can play in lots of different ways. Lots of people play just by exploring, just flying around, gathering data, selling the data. Uh, you can obviously fly, fly a combat, you can shoot people down, you can play in the real world where you might meet other live commanders in the, in the black. But uh, as I say, that's always a bit scary. Although, this far, I'm not that far out really. But uh, at the edges of the colonised space, you're less likely to find anybody because there's just so much room for them to be in. Engaging safe exit from jump. Um, but yeah, there's so much to do. Fuel you can skipping. buy and sell, trade, buy stuff Fuel cheap, sell it more expensive complete. after flying to a different system. It's just almost no end to what you can do. You can become a bounty hunter. You can find missions charging. where you shoot down pirates and sway the entire uh, galactic politics polit politics entry guidance computations complete faster than light velocity reached yeah. so it is quite a chill game in that you don't have to do very much when you're Scanning just going for anomalies. None across detected. somewhere you just have to be careful not to fly into suns when you arrive at the new system. Fuel 
scooping. Fuel Let's scooping scan it. complete. Position yourself with your exit. Which is over there. Get out of the uh, sun's corona. Jump to the next one. Uh, audio and video are working, says Sherlock. Thank you very much, Mark. Working. Say, so just working. Not, not great. Just working. Okay, it's fine. I understand. Four, jump three, two, one, engage. Here we go. So you can equip your ship in lots of different ways. Say, if you want to be a combat pilot. As well as there being 28 and 29 different ships that you can buy of various different sizes. You equip them however you like if you want to do passenger tourist missions or cargo runs or combat or mining. You can come mine an asteroid belt. Or, yes, you say trading or pretty much the world is your oyster. Anything you can imagine doing in a, a spaceship, you can pretty much do it. And now, of course, there are the landing on planets, walking around missions. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. So, uh, let's see, where's the next jump point is there? The trouble with finding somewhere that I can find some more stuff to mine is I've got to type it in. And some of these have got ridiculously long names like Col 285 Sector KP A B 16 Takes me a long time to type that in. So I would rather keep going a little bit longer until I find a plan or a system. But, uh, I can type in more quickly. So it's got an easy to type name. The, uh, the coal sector is obviously quite large. There's quite a lot of planets in it, uh, quite a lot of systems in it. Fuel scooping. So, uh, yeah, see, another one there. Fuel scooping complete. Luckily, I have bought a decent fuel scoop, so it actually picked up lots of fuel quite quickly. So I don't have to spend ages flying around a sun to uh, refuel myself. Refuel basically everything that I've used almost immediately. Interstellar travel system, mode as long as the sun now. is fine. Just to give you fuel. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are at normal levels. Good stuff. To the Mel sector, 111 sector. Frameshift drive charging. I'll get there, then I'll have a look and see if I can see another local star that's got uh, an easier name. Four. Entry guidance computations complete. See what the next one's called. Fuel scooping. Assuming it's nothing memorable. Fuel scooping complete. It's nothing memorable. Let's get away from the sun a little bit. Frame Let's have a look. Charging. What have we got here? Uh, it's, you know, Colin Mel. Ready to there engage. we go. It's a hip. 
Hip is easier to type. Hip 64306. Let me put that into my um, software. And so just get that loaded up. Uh, I would do it on screen, but I can't be finding websites and stuff while I'm on here. Let's have a look. What was that number? 64306. Uh, hip. 64306. Put that in there. Uh, put it in there as well, otherwise it gets confused. Hip. Six four three zero oh, six. And then if I click the calculate button down there, it will tell me that there's nothing around here. I nothing doing. So let's find that one there. Six four nine two eight. Yep. Six four nine two eight. Ah, didn't press the right button there. Uh calculate that. There we go, got one. Oh, it's another icy one. Uh, I'll try the icy one, but I don't like it very much. It's at Mel 111 sector. So let me go up to the top here. And type in Mel. One 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 six uh D W N B six zero B Six zero. There we go. So that is that. Click on that. That shows me where it is. It's fairly fairly local. I can get there. Let's go there and have a look. See if I can't find some more profit. Ah, uh, so let's head there. Couple, couple of jumps. will be there. Uh, then I get to scan the planet and see if I can't find things. Jumping it might work. System. It might not. The worst that happens is I get a bit more explor explor exploratory. Exploratory. Yes, exploratory. Data. I can then still sell. Uh, is this, this the right system? What? Fuel scooping complete. This is. I'm, I'm confused now. Wait. No, it's not the right sector. Why is it even saying it's the right sector? I've got one, two, three. Lots more jumps to make. Yeah, that's, I don't know why that is not giving me the next location. It took a little while for it to load up. Make my way. There we go, my one, 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 but not the right thing. Leaving system. All good stuff. I'll get there in a bit. 
eventually. So, uh, you always jump in next to the sun. Or next to a sun in the system. Find a big younger one. Sometimes there are multiples. Go over there, next jump. Uh, you may notice in the top right hand corner of the screen, I've got the time, which is an hour behind real time, or an hour behind UK time. Making Basically GMT. Universal standard time. Everybody playing Elite will have that showing at the same time. Which is quite cool. Unfortunately, uh, the Xbox version of Elite Dangerous uh, is not being updated anymore. Uh, you can still uh, land on planets and drive around in SRVs, but you cannot get out and walk. The walking update has not been uh, made available just for PC so uh, unfortunately to Xbox players of which I am also one uh, it's not as uh, the next up to date and the voice packs aren't available Checking for it either now. Complete. exit destination confirmed arrival in 5 4 3 2 1 uh, when you get to your target system, the last one you've got set into your jump, uh, it plays it all tuned to let you know that you're actually there. Uh, DW N, DW something, wasn't it? Wasn't N though? B90, I think, wasn't it? Or I don't think it was B60. New system. Marvelous. Probably close, but not there yet. Uh, once again, hello to anybody that's watching. Um, oh, there we go. I did get the note. So that is the, this is the right place. So, let's see where I need to be. This tells me that I need to be in planet 7A. So, if I bring up the system map, we can see uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A. Uh, there are no space stations in this system. So, I will have to find another place to go to sell the data uh, ooh, fairly close to it though uh, it is unexplored because I haven't explored it by getting close to it you can scan it but I will do a deeper scan with my uh, surface scanner that gives me the locations of the things the blue stuff which as I say I haven't had much luck with on Icy Worlds but hopefully being live streaming and stuff that will give me the added boost of it working properly you never know it might it probably won't but it might let's get in closer there we go There's discoveries of the names have popped up that makes them worth more money to sell the information on as well. Let's get closer and closer and closer. It's a little tiny speck in the distance, but it's a huge planet. The diff distance between planets and galaxies is immense. Say in VR, this is quite scary heading towards a planet at speed like this. There we go, that should be just about close enough. If I slow down a bit now, 
and then activate my scanner. Uh, if I do it in six probes, I get an efficiency target. So let's launch one right in the middle. One over there, two. Uh, three. Four over there. Uh, one right around to the other side, and one out there, I think. That should cover the entire planet. Uh, bottom left tells you what percentage of the planet I've scanned, my probes have scanned. When you get to 90%, it uh, auto, auto fills to 100. I'm what I land, I think. Did it not? No, I think I must have uh, not missed with one, but not got it quite in the right place. Let's get closer and see where I still need to scan. Yeah, big chunk over there. So if I get one about there, I should loop around. Hopefully hit it in the right place. There we go. Surface scan complete. Uh, so, let's once again get a bit closer. And let's have a look. So, we've got all bacterium. I don't know what that is, though. But um, now, to me, that's all just blue. Not actually giving me much hope finding anything unless they're saying the, the entire planet is full of what I'm looking for. I can't see that any of that is any different blues. There might be different colours and different shades to tell them of it, but as, as you may be aware, my eyes are not great at the moment, so I'm not able to differentiate any any change on that. That might be why I'm having trouble finding stuff. But let me get closer and fly down and see. It might it might become clearer as I get closer. Probably won't. Stress beacon, but I don't know about that. See some variation there. Let me just check. I think that's just background. Some of that's a little bit bluer. I shall try and aim for one of the blue patches. Although I think I will find that they're just sort of craters. So it looks like that might be a deeper blue than the other bit. Why not? Sorry. Different move to the other bit. I'll transfer power to shields and lower the gear. Is that all right? Let's see what we can no find. Response. How are you finding the game? Is it the sort of thing that you would have on while I'm streaming again? Or would you rather I stick with Robocop? I, I will be doing Robocop next week. My intention at the moment 
is to do uh, a week on week off sort of uh, system. So, yeah, I can't see anything. Can't see anything biological there. Oh, what's that? something. There's something. I'm going to land and investigate. Uh, landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. Okay, so the whole place is just flat, so you can't tell me that I can't from out here. Uh, I'm not going to take my SRV out at the moment. I'm just going to get out and have a little wander. Have a look, get my scanny thing out. That is stuff. Yeah, there you go, look. Don't know what that is, some sort of alien plant. That's interesting. Fonticular. Your next sample should be taken from a colony of these from over 500 meters from here. Okay. Uh, get back in. Find another one of those. I haven't seen those before. So I've just got to go 500 meters from here and find the same thing again. There's loads of them there, but I don't think that's 500 meters away. Might be. Uh, it's an okay game to have one in the background, but so is Robocop. Play whichever game doesn't strain your eyes too much, says Gemma. Not really a case of straining. Either, neither of them are really a case of straining. Uh, I'm going to land here and get out in the SRV and see if these are far enough away. If they are. Great, if they're not, then I'll have a little drive around, because it's quite big and flat and open here. Shall I dismiss the ship into orbit? No, leave it here. Standing by. Drive assist off. Let's have a quick look. Am I far enough away? Oh, Ooh, those ones are though. Oh, look. Just about sorted. Searching database. Fonticular. Photosynthetic colony organisms found exclusively on ice worlds where they have embraced the surrounding frozen material as a form of protection. As the fonticulus develop, they melt ice from around them, absorbing the liquid through tiny cellular pores and passing it to the colony's reproductive edge. Here, the liquid is excreted and immediately refreezes, creating hard translucent exoskeletons that provide protection for the organisms. Front structures create a wide flat space that expose internal photosynthetic cells to as much light as possible. Reproduction appears to occur by colony division, most likely when a shard of the structure collapses under its own weight, and the smaller shard creates a new colony. Oh, not to drive into them. Um, is that far enough? Drive assist off. No, didn't think it was, but it's worth a try. Jump back in. And let's go a little bit further. A bit more in the distance, but that might be. Oh dear. Luckily, I've got jump jets. Drive assist off. Get out and have another scan of one of these. 
Oh, come on. That's that not far enough away? I shouldn't really park on them either. Local wildlife. Come on, let's head over to these hippies there, hills. Looks like it might be sank over there. Come on, I need to refine one more of this type of thing. And that would be lovely. I know I'm definitely 500 metres away now, but I can't find any more. There's some, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. there's one. Lone one in the middle of nowhere. Put up next to it. Drive assist off. Cool. Yeah, green, green, green. Nice. Collating. Fonticular campestris. These fonticular thrive in argon atmospheres and can reach four meters in height. They feature huge leaf-like structures to capture sunlight for conversion to energy. Uh, Lynn is here. Good evening, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna not bother driving back to my ship. I shall dismiss it and then get it to come back for me. Quicker than driving back to it. Uh, and Dorcasaurus is here as well. Good evening. Welcome to both of you. Uh, I'm Chris and Gang. Dang it, I've got to go to class now, as usual. I'll catch this thing. Looks like a fun game. Yeah, Elite is one of those games that's just... Um, Check yeah, you just sit and play for hours and hours. Been working weekends, says Lynn. We'd rather watch Chris play games to, uh, and visit with my friends. We'd rather you be here as well, but, you know... Works one of those things that you've got to do. Uh, where's my ship? It's in front of me. I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. There's a shadow. Coming quite close. Myself in the pickup point. Uh, cannot board, move to ship. I thought I was in the right place, but might have been not quite in the right place. Always a little bit further forward than you think. Uh, Dorcasaurus was out grocery shopping. Now I'm having a beef shim chimichanga. I was trying to say posh. Sounds pleasant. Uh, so, I have found two lots of things. Uh, let's get into a bit. I had a station to sell my stuff at. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Uh, right. 
right, so let's. I came out of Super Cruise, but it's all right because I'm going to be busy for a minute anyway. Uh, I need to find somewhere that is likely to have population. Uh, you can't tell just from looking at the stars if they've got population or not. Except if it's got a proper name then it probably will have. Like that one, let's... That one there. Gives me the impression. It said something about six cannon, didn't it? Can't find it now, though. Damn it. Lave. Lave is the starting planet of the uh, original Elite. Do have to go there at some point. Bees and Mel's coals. We've got funny names, they're not real places. There we go, nine cannon, whatnot. Sounds like it might be a real place. Uh, no, no government, no population. Ah, oh, that's the other way of finding out. You can just click on any of them. <laughs> of course you can. And that will tell you the system information. So, let's... Uh, none. None. It's probably a faster way of doing this, but I don't know. Uh, bye, Lynn. Thanks for popping in. We shall see you at some point. Uh, I'm going to have to go back down. Didn't really want to go back down because I'm quite liking going up. I'm going to have to make a day of it just going up. But now I want to go and sell my, sell my stuff, although there's only a couple of them that I've got. happening there. No colonised systems around here. Hmm. I've come too far up to get to uh, Is that the one I mean? I think that's the one where I mean. I can't find any populated systems. I'm going to end up going all the way back home again, aren't I? Zooming in and out and uh, around. Right, let me see if I can't figure out some of these map commands uh, Pilot's Federation map mode what's that going to tell me? It 
Tell me where there are things happening. So I haven't got any. My fleet, it will show me where all my ships are. Active missions. I haven't got anything set up on that. It's not actually changing the map view. I thought this would change the map view. The options. Uh, star names, nebula names, region names. Previous jumps, friend markers, team markers. Unit goals, engineers. Ship markers and bookmarks. Fleet carriers, so many things. It's not, is it? Right, well, this is a starter system. Permit required. I thought I had permits for those. Oh, it's a sold system. Okay. I just want to find somewhere that's got Population. Target. Copy target name. Target focus. No. That's just what I've got targeted at the moment. It's no help to me. Now play information. No. I'm sure there is an easy way of doing it. Well, probably not an easy way of doing it, but there must be a way of doing it. To tell you stuff. But I have no idea what that way would be. Um, it's only 10 jumps to get there, I think. No, no, it's not. 25 jumps to get there, which is where I had one of my other ships. Don't really want to go back there because that's just going to end up taking me through systems that I've already been. Ah, oh, there you go. They got. How about that one? Over there. Uh, right, let's just randomly click. I can use the mouse around here. Randomly click on a few places until I get one that's got sort of where I want to be. There we go. Only 21 jumps to get there, and it's got a population, not a big population. I think I'll go somewhere with a bigger population than that. That's smaller, smaller, not smaller, bigger, bigger I'm looking for. Bigger than none. That's none, that's not bigger. How many jumps to get there? 23. Agriculture. I'd rather have somewhere a bit more industrial. That might be able to at least buy some stuff for me ship. Here they go, industrial. Right next to somewhere with no...
We'll go there then. Only 19 jumps as well, so that'll do. Uh, I shall go there, I shall dock and um, hopefully sell my data. They're industrial, so I might well be able to. Frameshift drive charging. Um, and then Four, that will three, be that. Two, one, engage. A couple of uh, things. Hopefully, I've made 19 million on each of those. I don't know about the uh, the plant life that I found. It might be more. It might be less. I uh, did some bacterium thing, and it only gave me one million. So uh, hopefully, I'll make. Uh, well, should make at least 20 million credits. Just from this couple of hours of flying around. I, I do believe if I die, I would crash the ship. I lose the data that I've got. Which is one of the reasons I want to get back done now, so I know I've done it. Um, the ship that I've got now, as I say, I have outfitted to the best of my pockets at the moment uh, and the insurance on it's like 4 million Jumping to light speed. so as long as you've got 4 million in the they will uh, replace your ship for you exit destination confirmed arrival in so never fly five, without a rebuy four, that's the, uh, three, the mantra for elite two, one. make sure you've got enough cash should the worst thing happen fuel scooping Sometimes in the in, out in the black, the worst thing does happen. Fuel scooping complete. So never take out a ship you can't afford to replace. Frame ship drive charging. I have in the past, occasionally, done a mission or two without enough for a rebuy, just because I upgraded without. Having enough Jumping to next system. spare cash to uh, buy the rebuy. But so far I've got away with it. I don't intend to do that again. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. I'm not sure if I will stick with this ship either. Fuel it's quite nice. I will at some point take it into a little bit of combat and see how it handles. A little bit of general combat. But, um, yeah, I'm not really a, a combat orientated flyer. I'm not great at it, and I know it. But it's always nice to be able to do it. I so I have upgraded some lasers on it. Making the jump to light speed. Scanning for anomalies. Yeah. None detected. If any of you are um, pilots, commanders in Elite, drop me a message in the comments. Let me know. Uh, if you're playing it on the PC, we may even meet up at some point. So I don't generally play in open, but I'm willing to uh, meet up, possibly with some people. If you do want to, give me a shout. As long as you promise not to be a pirate. Interstellar travel mode engaging now. Was it 19 jumps and this is jump number three? Are at optimal levels, readying for exit now. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. It's uh, not quite filled up. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Get close enough to the planet to fill up that time. Jumping to next system. So normally if I'm doing a long trip and got 
lots of these jumps to do. I will put a video on next to me in the cockpit here so I can you know, watch a show or something while I'm doing it. Obviously that's difficult to do when streaming. Fuel scooping. So fuel scooping complete. There we go, that's filled up with fuel scoop this time. Um, I would detour and have a look for some combat on the way, but I don't want to lose the information that I've gathered. You definitely lose all of the scanning that you've done. And I believe you lose the uh, biologicals you found as well, so... Interstellar travel mode engaging now. That would make me sad if I lost all the stuff. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. Scan. Fuel scoop. Fly around to your next Fuel exit scoop point. Frame and jump out again. Charging. Thirteen jumps remaining until destination reach Making my jump uh, to light voice back monitor is telling me. Telling me we've got enough fuel to do about uh, nine more jumps. Basically nine nine jumps in my tank. But as I keep topping it up, basically keep saying there's nine remaining all System the time. Complete. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Yeah, there. Let's hope to go back down a bit. Jump away. Two jumps remaining. Four. Jump. Three. Two. One. I just jump. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. System scan complete. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. So yes, Elite came out on the BBC 40 years ago this year. Um, this game came out 10 years ago. Frame shift drive charging and it's still being updated. Apparently this year there are going to be some new ships released. Uh, they have just released a new um, experimental drive Jump upgrade the next system. for the uh, Super Cruise. But apparently it makes the ship overheat very quickly. There's been reports of it you know, causing severe damage and death. It lets you get around in system much quicker, which would be quite nice. Basically, it lets you boost while you're in Super Cruise, which ordinarily you can't do. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. So, it doesn't worry me that much. As I say, if I'm going a long way, either with lots of jumps or lots of in system stuff, then I'll just have something to watch on the background. Too much. Jumping to light speed. Uh, we're basically halfway there now, and with about nine jumps remaining, I shouldn't even need to refuel at all, even if there are no more fuel. Um, fuel stars available between here and there. I should still be all right. But most stars should come across. At least the way I've got my routing set up. Fuel scooping complete. stars, so that's all nice and easy. Uh, I remember playing Elite on the PlayStation 1. Was it on the PlayStation? I didn't didn't know it was on PlayStation. That's quite cool. Um, yeah, I played it on the BBC. 
Entry guidance, computation. Space station was well, technically more powerful than the UC, so everything quite good. Did it have a wireframe graphics or was it actually solid solid chips? Engaging safe exit from jump. Um, on the VVC, on the, the original Elite, you could only fly the Cobra. You couldn't buy a different ships. You could upgrade your ship and buy new lasers and stuff. But you couldn't change ships. Uh, which is why the Cobra has always been my favourite go-to ship. I did have one in this game. I have still got one. My first ship I bought, apart from this given Sidewinder, was a Cobra Mark III. And uh, still use it. It was wireframes as my stuff. That's how it should be. Um, the original Elite is or was available from Frontier for free on the PC. Um, I did download it. I did play it briefly, but I really couldn't get back into it because it's just compared to this, it's basic and. I would say not worthwhile, but it's still fun, but not as much fun. Fuel scooping. Once you've uh, experienced, you know, this in Fuel complete. high def or even VR, going back Frame to basic stuff is quite, um, quite jarring. So, uh, yeah. Jump, uh, what does it say? Seven jumps remaining. Hyperspace jump. Two, one, I wonder how much. I'll probably get a couple of million from selling the exploration data, as well as hopefully at least 20 million in the biologicals. Assuming there's a place to sell the biologicals at the destination that I'm going to. Um, what I do need to do is unlock engineers. Um, engineers basically enable you to tweak your modules to make them better. So you can jump further. Jumping further obviously cuts down the number of jumps that you can use and opens up better routes because you can go places that you couldn't go where it said I couldn't jump before and couldn't plot a route. It's because it knows how far you can jump each jump. And if it's basically you can't find a route to get there because you need to jump further, you just can't do it. But if you can jump further, then it will tell you how to get there. Nice and easy. So I shall be upgrading my jump drive at some point. Um, I've got to research how to do it again. I can't remember. It, it's uh, Felicity Farcia is the first engineer that I believe you come across, and I believe she Jumping. does jump distance. But to unlock her, as well as finding her, you need to take her something. I think it's Meta Alloys is the first thing. I only ever unlocked two or three engineers things different degrees but obviously now this is uh, fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. I wouldn't say my go-to game but at the moment it's certainly one that I am invested in and interested in putting some time into so uh, I will be looking into engineers at some point Frameshift drive charging it's a trek to get to her and then get what you need so I shall research first and find out what I need to take to her before I find her. Whether I end up getting a bigger ship or a better ship before I get there, I don't know. Um, but the problem with larger ships is uh, there are places where you can't dock large ships. Uh, this is a medium ship which I believe can go anywhere. But the different landing bays obviously had different sizes. Fuel scooping. I did have on the, Fuel the uh, Xbox complete. version, I had an Anaconda, which is one of the larger ships. 
kitted out for everything, for mining and stuff. But, um, no, no, not too worried about mining at the moment, so probably not going to bother with that now. In this playthrough, at least. But you never know, the world of the galaxy is your oyster. You can do a bit of anything wherever you like. So I might at some point. Once I've got loads and loads of money. Something different to do, so I might kit out a ship for, for that. For now, I'm happy doing some of the exobiology stuff. Uh, finding an un unmapped, unnamed planet would be nice to get my name on it. Which is why I was heading up north of the galactic plane. Because most people, most players stick to the level. It's a big thing with oh, 3D games. People don't think up and down. And you're flying in space. There is no up and down. Making the jump to light speed. From the map, obviously, there is. People generally don't go up and down so much, so it's easier to find unexplored parts of the galaxy by going up and down a bit. So, I think I will make my way over. Complete. Find out where she is, make my way over to her to get the stuff for her first. That'd be my plan going forwards in the game. Engineering's always interesting. Jump three, two, one, and Depending on how far through it I get, I might make a video about it, or I might do that streaming this in a couple of weeks' time. If I can time it right to be experiencing some engineering for the first time. Right, music's played, so that means I'm in the right system. Uh, let's just get away from the sun. So I don't cook. Let's have a look. You can see. There we go, there's a, there's a, a levy hanger. What's it got? Uh, yeah, it hasn't got anywhere to sell my stuff. It's got Apex in it, Stella. Factions, missions, pioneer supplies, search and rescue, auto dock, brood lounge, outfitting, restock, repair, refuel. So, yeah, I can't sell my stuff there. So. to stop. Do I want to bother there or not? Mm. Could just head down a bit more. Somewhere like that. 5.8 million that's more likely to have uh, what I need. It's only another nine jumps as well. I should go there. Why not? Not got anything else to do tonight, have you? So let's uh, make my way there. Scanning as I go anyway, so it's always good stuff. Sure, nobody watching is actually paying too much attention to me anyway, so to fly Witter and get there. Hopefully find a thing to sell. systems look good. Nothing unusual. Want to sell my exobiology data to know how much I made. Complete. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. I'm sure you want to know how much I made, really, don't you, as well? So, uh, we'll find out soon enough. Only another what, eight, seven, or eight jumps. And then a little bit of flying in system. Uh, 
Uh, ludicrous speed, yes. Entry guidance computations complete. Exit destination confirmed. Arrival in five. Of course, we've paid attention to Jimmy. Yeah, three, really. two, one. And a little bit of attention, but not, not in a big way. System scan complete. Fuel scooping complete. Let's get there. Friendship drive charging. Friendship drive charging. Yeah, I haven't actually landed in a station without the system. Yeah. Nice. But not recently. Because I haven't got a, an advanced docking computer on this ship. I might get one. Key systems are at optimum levels, ready for exit. It does just make life a little bit friendlier. I know I'm talented enough to do the docking. Fuel scooping complete. But not having to think about it does make life a little bit easier. You're not a real pilot unless you can dock yourself, but I know I can. Just I don't necessarily want to. Folks from the movie Space Wolves go to the mark. Well, Gemma won't have any. Dorpsaurus is still about, but it's been a while since I watched Space Wars. It's a little dark helmet on that. Schwartz is strong with you. Binary system. It's quite cool. Careful not to get trapped between the suns because that will be very hot. Drive charging. Yeah, uh, how many jumps did it say? Five jumps remaining. Four. Leading Three. system. Two. One. Friendship now engaged. Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are at normal levels. I am surprised that there hasn't been a, a movie based on an elite, or at least in the Fuel elite universe, scooping. as yet. There's another binary system. Fuel scooping there. Um, there have been some books. I uh, with the original book, Frame with the original game, charging. 40 years ago, there was the Dark Wheel. So, uh, that was the original Jump into the next book. system. But I believe there's been a few novels based around the Elite Universe. But no films that I'm aware of. Key Could systems are at optimal levels, ready for know. exit now. I'm sure I would have heard if there was a film. Complete. Uh, three jumps remaining. Frameshift drive charging. It's not though, is it? Frameshift drive go. charging. We've gone plaid to Sherlock. I don't remember that. What's? Don't remember that quote from the film. Interstellar travel mode engaging now. Let the shorts be with you. Yeah, I remember that one. Drive 
jumping to next system. How much do you think my uh, map data will be worth? I'm gonna go for two, two and a half million. Key systems are at optimum levels. Ready I've done a couple exit. of deep scans as well, so. System scan complete. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Uh, one more jump. This is the last one They're going into that industrial Frame system. Drive charging. Independent, medium security, clean. 4.98 light years away. Uh, so we'll do a space jump and overshoot the target. Entry guidance computations complete. Uh, yeah, oh, that's the loop of shame in the elite. It's when you uh, don't slow down quickly enough when you're approaching the station. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. It happens. Thankfully, it doesn't happen a lot for me, but it does happen. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. All right. Let's have a look and see. There's a big station. Stevens Dock. Yeah, look. Uh, what they got. Can't. Can't maneuver it. To see what we got there. Yeah, Vista Genomics. There we go. That's what I need. Let's make our way to Stephen's dock then, shall we? No, don't want the galactic map. No, don't want the system back again. I thought I had it. Ah. There we go. It's got it targeted, so that's where we're going. It's there. It's not far away at all. Good. See if I can do it without a loop of shame. system. Busy system that. Lots of planets. Lots of loopy stuff. Uh, so any guesses in chat as to how much my data will be worth? Come on, give me a shout, let me know. No prizes, but it's interesting to see what you think. Admittedly, it'll be hard to guess if you don't play the game because you've got no basis of anything. But I reckon two and a half million for the uh, exploration data. And hopefully more than 20 for the uh, genomics. Genetics. One billion dollars. Should I? Yeah, I, I doubt it. It'd be nice, but not gonna happen. Let's jump out close enough to that. Uh, about now. Welcome to Stevens Dock. Oh, that's an interesting looking space station. That's not what I was expecting. Uh, 7.5 kilometers away. I can request docking. Request docking granted. Seats are landing pad three. Let's have a look. There is the entrance. Slowly rotating. No response. Commander, reduce your speed immediately. Scan detected. 
Yeah, I have. I think 100 is the, uh, the speed limit around here. I'm at 70. Get myself positioned correctly. 2,000 meters from touchdown. Through the gate, and then find out where my landing pad is. Uh, down there, apparently. Three, zero, three, there it is. Landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. Nice, nice and easy, nice and slow. Come, the view will change to landing view. There we have it. Oh, a little bit too far forward. There we go. Nicely done, even if I do say so myself. I shall like put up my fuel. The ship is on the ground. Commend what power fuel repairs there are. Let's have a look. Uh, 1.5 billion, says Jeff. Yeah, it's not going to be a billion. No it's not even going to be close to it. Million, maybe, but not not billions. Let's have a look. Proving data. Thinking about it. Two million. Uh, oh, that's only one page. Two million for that page, and 200,000 for that page. So I was about right with two and a half million. It's good. I, I can't sell those three things because they're a bit too close to the. Uh, you can only sell data further away. So that's that. Uh, I have to get out now to do the other bit. Um. So let's let's get out and have a wander and sell off my genetics stuff. See if that's worth twenty or more. Uh, everything on my out. A long way up. Look at all the stairs. Oh, you got a lift. That's right. I, I can say I wouldn't want to use the stairs. So here we go. Um, plenty of room in here for even a big ship. It would be interesting. No, I haven't had a big ship where I can walk around outside. Been around the uh, Anaconda in a uh, SRV, but it's not quite the same. go. The interior of these all look the same and everything's in the same places which is nice but also not great. They're sleeping exactly the same way with exactly the same beards. Your seat. Say seat. Cannot interact. Oh. Right. Welcome. How much are you going to give me? You have organic data to share with us? I do. This does strives to learn everything it can about the cosmos. Uh, yeah, that was worth 19, and that was worth one. So it's just 20. I quite enjoyed getting that stuff for a million, though. That was all good stuff. Anything more to share? Uh, not at the moment, thank Mr. you. Mr. Thanks you for your contribution. So, there we go. That is what I've got. Um... I want to buy a better suit. So what are you after today? But I haven't been able to find anyone that's got one. Oh, there we go. You've got one. A level 2 Artemis suit. Artemis suit is the one that I've got, which is the one for doing scanning. Um, so this is better. It's got damage resistance. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy myself one of them. Two and, two and a quarter million. 
If you're trying to catalog Fine. rare genetic data, the Artemis is definitely the right suit. And the air capacity is unmatched by any other. Thank you. Um, can I do anything with the upgrade of it? Ooh. Oh, it's unavailable. Oh, okay. Um, can I sell that one? I can't sell that one because I'm wearing it. It's okay, though. Uh, I shall do my cosmetics on it like I get on that just to change things around, make it a little bit more interesting. Although, you can't see it. I don't think you can see any of it, but there we go. Um, I think I've got better weapons there as well. Not that I really use the weapons a lot, but... Sure, take a look around. Uh, these are all level one as well, so I won't bother with them. Thank you. That'll do me for now. Watch it back out there. Um, I don't think I can change loadouts here. I think I have to go back to the ship to do that. So, that is that. That's the end of my first live stream of Elite Dangerous. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, I shall no doubt return to this, as I say, in a couple of weeks' time. Next Wednesday, I should be back with Robocop. And then, as I say, the week after, I should return back to this and start my journey to find the uh, engineers. So I'll uh, do some behind-the-scenes stuff. I might, might, I might upgrade my ship. Finding the engineers is good, but I'll, I'll do some stuff while I'm there anyway. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Do let me know, and I shall see you for more in a week or so. Uh, this week, uh, where are we? Today is Wednesday. Uh, don't know what's happening on Saturday as yet, but we'll figure something out. I'm sure there will be something going on. And Sunday, Katie should be returning to Subnautica. So, uh, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.